A new study which compared siblings who were and weren't exposed to acetaminophen during pregnancy found the drug doesn't increase the risk of autism and ADHD, adding new evidence to a long-debated topic. This study's findings may be welcome news for birthing people who use acetaminophen as a pain or fever management option, since there are few safe alternatives for relief available. Renee Gardner, a study author and principal researcher at Sweden's Karolinska Institute, said in a statement 2.4 million. That's how many children, who were all born in Sweden, were used as a part of this cohort making this the largest study to date to examine the connection between Tylenol and ADHD, autism and intellectual disability, according to the study. Acetaminophen's link to neurodevelopmental disorders has been a controversial topic within the health community, as several studies have previously found the drug does cause an increase in neurobehavioral issues. Children whose umbilical cord blood samples had the highest doses of acetaminophen were around three times more likely to develop ADHD and autism, according to a separate JAMA study published in 2019. An international group of researchers recommended in 2021 that pregnant individuals limit their exposure by using the lowest effective dose for the shortest amount of time, and called for more warnings around taking acetaminophen during pregnancy according to research published in Nature Review's Endocrinology. However, they noted other factors like maternal alcohol use and stress may also play a role. Long-term acetaminophen use during pregnancy resulted in a 20% higher risk of autism and a 30% higher risk of ADHD. A 2018 meta-analysis published in the American Journal of Endocrinology found a separate 2021 study also used a sibling model to examine this link, and it found both the exposed and unexposed children of mothers who took acetaminophen during pregnancy had an increased risk of developing ADHD. The researchers concluded these results may be partly due to unobserved familial factors. The Food and Drug Administration said in 2015 evidence was too limited to make any recommendations against using over-the-counter medications like acetaminophen during pregnancy. A class action lawsuit was brought against the makers of Tylenol and similar generic versions of the drug partially due to the recommendations from the 2021 Nature paper. However, a federal judge ruled in December 2023 the research cited in the lawsuit cannot be used as evidence since at least one of experts the plaintiffs used cherry-picked and misrepresented study results and refused to acknowledge the role of genetics in the etiology of either autism spectrum disorder or ADHD. In September 2023, the FDA declined to comment on the lawsuit, though it conducted a new review of more recent studies earlier that year and said they were limited and inconsistent.